Hey guys, uh, Jonathan from Murder Jamar Productions here, and today we're going to talk about miniseries. <coughs> Sorry, let me try that again. Today we're going to be talking about miniseries. Um, I only have four of these, and one of them halfway counts. I'm counting it as a miniseries because I've been debating back and forth on what to count it as for like a week now. I'm counting it as a miniseries. So there. And we're going to start off with that one so that I can explain why I'm counting it as a miniseries to get out of the way. Tommy Lee Goes to College. I have never seen this. Some of you might not even know that this was a thing. Yes, this is Tommy Lee from Motley Crue. And he also obviously had a solo mu uh, music career. But more importantly, at this time, he was the wife of Pamela Anderson. And for some weird reason, he decided that he wanted to do a little TV show. So they made this, where he goes back to college as a famous rock star. Um, and I'm counting it as a miniseries because it was only six episodes. It was meant to be only six episodes. And that is, that, that's not even enough to count as just a short season. It's a miniseries. Um, just a, a weird one. This aired on NBC. It was from 2005, really? 2005? I thought it was older than that. Um, I've never seen this. Michael has seen it. He said it's, he, he says it's an interesting watch. It's pretty funny and then I should check it out sometime. Maybe someday I'll get around to it. He's had this for, he, he's had this for a while. Um, and this is just one of those obscure ones that you can talk about because nobody really knew that this even existed. I didn't until I saw that Michael had it. Um, now... Another one that some people might not know existed, but is actually really good, uh, Ten Man. Now this was uh, made for Sci-Fi, uh, the Sci-Fi channel, and they did a couple of these. Um, most of them were three to four uh, uh, episodes long, about an hour apiece. Um, and they're basically just extra long movies where they took a look at some at some classic stories and put their own twist on it. This one is obviously Wizard of Oz, the story of the Wizard of Oz, but it's a it's a different version. They also did one for um, uh, Alice in Wonderland. That one was so good. I wish that I could find that one. Um, and since this one was this one was released on Blu-ray because it's newer. It's got Neil McDonough in it. Uh, it's got Alan Cumming in it. It's got Zoe Deschanel in it. Um, very good. I hope that someday they go back and find and re-release some of their other ones on Blu-ray because I would love to have all of them. They did. I think they did three or four. I don't remember them all, but oh, the the Alice in Wonderland one sticks out to me so much. But this one's very good. If you ever find it somewhere, I suggest picking it up. It's an interesting take on it, and I like alternate takes on traditional stories. So I loved it. Uh, now we're going to get into a couple that you might have heard of these. I'm sure you have. Uh, Cosmos. Um, this is the new one. The one with Neil deGrasse Tyson in it. Uh, we watched this while it was while it was on TV. It's really good. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's very informative. Um, me and Michael both like learning new things. And I especially like learning about science and history. And Neil deGrasse, Ty Neil deGrasse Tyson was great. He was a great choice as a host for this. Um, he played it just serious enough with com with enough comedy thrown in that it really kept your interest. Um, I would like to get the original one, the one with Carl Sagan, and it has been released. It's just kind of hard to find. I would love to pick it up sometime uh, just to be able to watch it. But this is great. It's it's an investment. Jeez, um, it's 553 minutes, so nine hours almost. It's an investment, but it's worth it. And the last one, I'm sure that you've heard of this one, Band of Brothers. Um, now, I will admit, I have yet to watch this. 
I have not even sat down to try to start it yet. Someday I will. Everybody keeps telling me I need to. It's the same thing I haven't seen Saving Private Ryan. I'm weird on war movies. Someday I will watch it, um, but I just know how much of an investment it is, but it's also HBO, so I know the quality is going to be uh, fantastic. You know, I missed this when it first aired, and because we never had HBO. Um, Michael's seen it, Michael's at least seen bits of it, um, and he really likes it, he, he really liked what he's seen. Um, so maybe one of these days I'll, I'll sit down and I'll shoot through this and maybe check out some of the other war stuff that I've never seen. Um, yeah, but yeah, sorry, I got off track there for a second on that one. But that's all the miniseries we have. There are more out that we really want to get, especially, uh, surprisingly enough, more war stuff. Uh, Michael really wants to get North and South and guys and generals. Um, but those box sets are becoming increasingly and increasingly rare to find. And we really kick ourselves for not picking them up while they were still at Best Buy because they're just not there anymore. And like I said, they're just increasingly hard to find. Movie training company doesn't even have them. Um, so maybe one day we'll be able to find those and have them because they're really good boxes. They're really nice sets. Um, but that's all the mini series. Um, so yeah. And mix up, well, I don't even know how to explain the next one, so I'll just explain it when I get to the video.